<laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming there's like another exit. There's not just the one main entrance to this. There uh, is. There's a stair. We don't need to leave. I mean, we do, but I we don't need to run from the guards. It's true, we don't. All right, I'm going to go to the door, and I'm going to be like, Please, help not me, yet. I'm stuck inside. We, the, 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 the dog spirit took the master. We're stuck in here. We couldn't keep them. We couldn't keep the dog spirit from taking him. Make a deception <laughs> check. Uh, 29. Uh, okay. Okay, that beats it. So you hear you hear a muffled voice. Get, uh, all right, we'll try and get the doors open. Is is anyone else hurt? Yes, we're all morbidly injured. Because we'll, we'll get the doors open. Don't panic. And they start to you hear them taking their weapons and just smacking the door as it begins to chip and fall away. After maybe ten minutes of heavy axe work, the doors are eventually broken down, and a detachment of local guards come in. Along with behind him, some of the servants, and they begin they <clears throat> they begin to look around and go, "What happened here?" The, 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 the spirit took the master and whisked him away, sealed us in this room. They kind of look to each other and say, "Well, are you hurt? Do you need medical attention?" I do. I do need medical attention. I've been horribly injured by fire. It melted the doorknobs. As you can see, all the singe marks everywhere. <clears throat> he goes, well, uh, we'll get you to the hospital. They'll they'll take a full examination of you, make sure you're all spick and span. No Ooh. need. I'm <laughs> I'm a cleric. I can handle it. They go, ah, well, all right. It was lucky you were here. Un un unfortunate thing about Arthur. We'll mm -hmm. scour the city. Maybe we'll be able to find him before uh, the morning. Yes, please do find him. Make haste. Go. Oh, no collapse into Mars' arms. Is Hugo hurt? Yeah, Hugo's hurt. Like he he's scorched. <laughs> from okay, the... I'm gonna I'm gonna cast heal wounds at the first level on you. Okay. I'm also very injured, Mars. As I'm like just in your arms, like please help me. I'm dying. So oh, come into my I understand that you're dying, madam. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, unfortunately. I don't have any spell slots to spare oh. for you. Oh, what a shame! <laughs> you, can, you can see Mars is extremely still mad at you. And uh, nine health to Hugo. Oh, what a, such an odd turn of events. If only I could be her. Uh, maybe that hospital isn't too bad after all. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, can I just... Just because I think it'd be funny, can I roll Intimidation on Octavian? <laughs> uh, go ahead, and then Octavian, you would roll... Insight. An insight check, yeah. <laughs> I got a 14. I got a 7. <laughs> <laughs> Octavian, you are very scared of Mars right now. You're yeah. hurt, you're hurt yeah. very badly. Please. <laughs> what a very scary... Anti undead grave cleric, you are. Please. Oh, don't worry, ma'am. It'll. I'll just take you somewhere safe where we can take care of you. Okay, excellent, marvelous. You can just see the rage emanating off of his face at you. Oh, my, my, my. Pumpkin, get out from underneath my table. Oh my. All right. My, such a such a strong, strapping young man. Oh. <laughs> All right. So, you guys leave the house. As you're yep. leaving, you see more and more guards flooding down the street, heading towards Arthur's home. Uh, people are gathering in the streets <laughs> in their sleeping clothes. Some of the party goers are mingled in there. I'll be. I'll. I'll start frantically yelling as the maid woman. A demon of unimaginable power has been unleashed onto the up. Onto the upper crust ward. Everyone's lives are in danger. <laughs> Make Flee it a to your nearest. <laughs> Flee to the nearest temples. Make it a deception Octavia. check. Huh? Make a deception check. Yeah, you're you're deceiving them. Uh, it's twenty-seven. 
All right. And you see people begin to panic and look to their loved ones, holding their children tight. The guards are like, no, no need to alarm people. We've got it under control. Yes, the round madam. The, the rounds of Wait. the son of fell are descending upon the rounds of Madam. Man. Octavian. <laughs> it's time to shut up. In, an, in the asthma of death, it's descending upon us. <laughs> Doesn't Mars still have an intimidation over you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm still he afraid is, of you, but I'm... He's vehemently telling you to shut up. <laughs> and then I will pretend to pass out. All right. Carry me, Mars. Carry me. <laughs> you guys, where are you headed? To the inn? What would be a better place to hide in? Because we know Arthur is going to come Ooh. after us. Um, we'll go down to the roost. <clears throat> the flock. The flock, yes. The material girl. <laughs> All, right. All right. I guess that's where we're going. Dante kind of emerges from the crowd and joins up with you guys. As you begin heading down to the bowels. To the aforementioned night market. Uh, as you reach down there, it's in full swing. There's carts and stands. Everyone's buying and selling. You hear the chanting, not the chanting, but the shouting of, of salesmen toting their goods. But you do eventually make your way to the material girl. It's empty when you walk in. and You see the tiefling girl that you've become very familiar with. You still don't know her name. But she sees you and she sees your current state of being pretty badly damaged and she kind of Looks around and gestures for you to follow her to the back room. All right, I guess we'll go. Okay. As you guys make yeah. it to the back room, she kind of turns around and shuts the the drapes and say, "What happened?" Oh, we were morbidly undersuited to handle that situation. I don't know why you would want us to go do that to begin with. She kind of looked. Octavian did something stupid. That's what. He, what happened? <laughs> oh, well, I was able to know. It was all a part of the plan. I was able to discern that Arthur Sin is, in fact, the leader of Iron Solutions. Yes, and now we most likely have not only his gang coming after the three of us, probably every grave cleric and undead hunter coming after you. Well, they don't know that I'm undead. Well, not only that, he has the pockets of the guards. Well. Excuse me? We have the pockets of the people. I'm sure he's paying some guards off. Yeah, well, of course. Away. I mean, who is it? Girls, I'm I have not... a question. You know, the elf girl kind of comes from another room, sleepy-eyed, like, what's going on? Do you have a place for us to stay here in this in this uh, establishment? She goes, we have some safe houses in the bowels if you need a place to stay. Mm. We owe you enough. It would be appreciated, considering... It would be quite appreciated. <laughs> considering we've just almost killed the leader of Iron Solutions. Yes, and they kind of know who we are. Hmm. <laughs> And they kind of look to each other and say, uh, I'll leave you there. It's, it's, it'll be safe for the night. But after that, I can't make any promises. If you're hunted by Iron Solutions, you may it's not be fine. safe in this city. That's fine. We could definitely leave the city. I quite hate it here to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, very well. And the tiefling kind of says, I'll watch the shop. You, you take him to the safe house. And the elf girl kind of gestures for you to follow her outside the tent. I'm still dressed as a maid. <laughs> all right she leads you past the night market past all the stalls back into the deeper parts of the bowels where the me the mechanics of the city are steam blowing heavy machinery churning it's quite loud but she eventually leads you past to a quieter area and she opens a door and you see you see a what looks like almost like a not a cavern but almost like a ravine this oh gosh this large dip into the iron into the ironworks of the bowels and along the walls are these like treehouse like homes where you see people mm. living and commuting uh, there are staircases leading down to a thoroughfare and there are staircases leading up to a balconies but she takes you down 
the staircase into the bottom of the ravine and then back up again to the other side. And she goes up to a door, she unlocks it, and she says, uh, this should be safe for now. You should be good here for the night. Thank you very much, ma'am. I most appreciate it. She goes, you've done a lot for us, but we can't protect you if Iron Solutions is after you. I wouldn't expect you to. She bows and says good luck, and she shuts the door behind her. Have a nice evening. I'll close the door and lock it behind me and dispel the, the disguised self. That kid still has my fucking hundred silver! A <laughs> hundred silver. He took a hundred silver. Well, technically we're down two hundred, because someone else gave another share. Mars just puts his hands on your head and starts shaking you. You think your biggest <laughs> problem right now is that you're down a couple silver? Well, yes. He took my money. He stole from me. You should care about that, Mars. I care about your safety and well-being, well, which you put at risk I'm by financial. revealing yourself in front of several rich, very who people who could very likely hire my father to kill you. <laughs> Mars, Mars, I'll start disrobing and just going to pure skeleton without any clothes on. Mars, <laughs> tell me. Oh, start looking at him and posing. Tell me. Could you discern this glorious form from any other corpse? Octavian. A skeleton does not have many characteristics easily. I'll start going through the um, cabinets of the, uh, of the abode. Does not have very many uh, features, one could say, that are easily recognizable. A skeleton is a, looks the same as any other skeleton, you know, besides maybe like height and you know, maybe rib, rib cage and pelvic size, but no, not really many people look at that. Octavian. They just see, oh, it's a skeleton. Octavian. Yes. I don't think you fully realize the situation, though. Yes. If my father shows up and he realizes you are undead, he yes. will make me kill you. <laughs> and I will not fight him because I, I need to take over the family business someday. Uh, Octavian. Yes. When I detect magic, you glow. I glow? You do. How, how fitting. Oh, so another thing we need to watch out for. Well, no, I think the... Well, hold on. Hmm. I glow. I wonder why I glow. Is it, it could be my bag of holding. No, you're... I mean, that glows too, but yeah. your entire body glows. I'm glowing. I know, it's beautiful. Regardless, we need to come up with a plan on how to solve our situation with Arthurson. Hmm. Honestly, you're lucky I'm not locking you in some trunk and carrying you around <laughs> oh, until we fix you. But if you did, I'd be the talking trunk. You leave me around and some people could stumble upon the trunk and I'm like, Hello, can anyone hear me? I'm stuck inside this trunk. And when oh, they I would it, find a way to soundproof the thing. They would open it and find a skeleton. Or maybe I, or maybe I'll put you piece by piece inside your bag of holding. Oh no! Please don't do that. Does he mm. need to breathe? I don't no. need to breathe. He doesn't Nor do need I... anything to be alive. He just yeah. is, and he's, well, I... and the only reason he's still in this un undeath state is because I am there constantly keeping an eye on him and making sure he doesn't do something stupid to reveal himself and get himself hunted down by every undead hunter worth their salt. 